Comet Leonard Most of us probably know about the Halley's Comet, which visits the Earth only once in 75 years. But hey, what if I told you that a comet is going to visit us once and then never again? Yes, the Comet Leonard will be visiting us in December, making it the brightest, the only, and the last comet of this year. The comet is on an orbit with a time period of about 80,000 years. As expected, many questions might have poured into your mind like will it be visible in my country? Do I need a telescope and what is so special about this comet? So, let's take a deep dive into all the details about this comet and answer all the questions. Hey! It seems like 92% of you are not subscribed yet. I would really appreciate if you join the channel for more such amazing videos. Back to the video. If you haven't seen any comet in your life, do not miss this amazing event. The Comet C-2021 A1 or simply Comet Leonard was discovered by Greg J. Leonard, on whom the comet has been named. Coming towards the Earth at a staggering speed of 70 km per second, the comet will reach closest to the Earth on December 12, which might be the best time to view the comet. The comet will reach a closest distance of 35 million kilometers, giving it a zero possibility of a comet impact. As many of you might know that in the world of astronomy, the lower the brightness magnitude of the celestial body the better is its visibility. As of the making of this video, we are just 15 days away from the peak and the comet is having a brightness of magnitude 8. This will enable you to watch the comet only through a medium-sized 6-inch telescope or a good pair of binoculars, and won't be visible to naked eye. For comparison, the comet Neowise, which appeared last year, had a brightness magnitude of 4. As per scientists and astronomers, a brightness below 5.5 is necessary for any celestial body to be visible to naked eyes. However, in the next few days it is expected that the comet Leonard will be going to reach a peak brightness of magnitude 2, creating a magical moment for most of the people. And even a better news, just two days after the closest approach, that is on the December 14th, the comet will cross the orbital plane of the Earth, and then due to a phenomenon called forward scattering, the light from the comet can brighten it to magnitude as low as 1 giving you an extremely great chance and possibility of spotting the comet in the night sky. But keep in mind that the predictions may vary. So the moment you all have been waiting for, let us now look at the timings and locations where the comet Leonard will be visible. The comets will initially be visible in the northern hemispherical countries and will brighten up each day up to December 12th. But later as the comet starts to go below the horizon, the viewing conditions will improve in the southern hemisphere. For the people in northern hemisphere, you really need to check this out. On the morning of December 6th, try to get up early. That is 90 minutes before the sunrise in your local time zone. Go out and try to look in the east direction at a 30 degree altitude to spot the comet, as it will be very near to the bright star Arcturus. But if you want to look for Leonard after December 6th, start to see in the southwest direction at a 10 degree altitude just after sunset in your local time zone, and you will be able to spot your comet if it's bright enough. Also use your telescopes or binoculars to improve your field of view. For the people in the southern hemisphere, the comet is expected to be visible until later January 2022, in the Piscis Austrinus constellation, although it may be less brighter. Finally, the comet will be ejected from the solar system on September 2022 and will return after 80,000 years, leaving us with a hope that the year 2022 brings more such stunning and interesting astronomical events. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.